If you were to ask around, some people would tell you that Nashville is actually a nice place to live. They will tell you all the good things about it, but no one will tell you about the bad. As much as Nashville is an amazing place to live, there are some things that if you cannot withstand, then this is not the place for you. Think of them as conditions for having a better life in Nashville. But what exactly are these conditions? Hello everyone, and welcome to Across the Globe. Today, you will find out why you should not even consider moving to Nashville, Tennessee. Let's dive in to find out why this city isn't as pleasant as people claim it to be. As we all know, humidity simply means the amount of moisture in the air. The humidity levels in this town can become pretty uncomfortable, especially if you're not one to stay long in stuffy places. As we all know, high humidity anywhere will definitely come with some problems, such as poor air quality, discomfort, and, to some extent, high utility bills. And in Nashville, the relative humidity comes to an average of 70%. So, you can imagine the level of humidity that you have to encounter each day. Because of this, you will have to deal with some dangerous conditions like black mold, lots of roaches, and other problems that may end up causing severe health problems. If you are asthmatic, you should definitely stay away from this town because you will have the roughest time you can ever imagine. You will literally be walking with your inhaler everywhere you go. Nashville is an amazing place to move around. There is a lot of nature to admire and a lot of places to visit. But even with that, you should never rely on the public transportation network. There is no way that you will ever be on time if you use public transit. They are always late, and most of the time they are so slow that you will wish to have taken an Uber. A place where you can use about 30 minutes to get there with your own car can end up taking about one and a half hours just to get there. And that is on a good day. If you are thinking of moving to Nashville, it would be best if you were to get yourself a car first. It will definitely come in handy when you want to drive yourself somewhere, or when you want to visit someone or some place. Yes, there are other issues like traffic and reckless drivers, but you would rather get through this than rely on public transport. It is way better. If you're not a fan of country music, then do not even think of going to Nashville. This is because literally every bar that you go to will most likely be playing country music. There are other genres here also, such as alternative, gospel, and even rock. But the most dominant of them all is country music. After all, it is considered a music city, but sometimes it becomes too much. Because of this, you only have two options. Either you learn to like country music or you at least tolerate it. Otherwise, if you don't do any of this, you will end up suffering and it will not be fun for you. So, if you think that you can't tolerate a lot of country music, then you better not move to Nashville. A lot of people have been filled with the thought that Nashville is an amazing place to be. After all, there is a lot of nature around to enjoy. The city itself is also called the Music City, meaning that there is a lot of music going around every day. But people are moving here in millions, and it is not pleasing. It is even estimated that about 36 people are moving to Nashville per day. This is a lot of people to be moving here. This means that in a year, there will be more than a million people who have moved to Nashville. This has a great effect on everything in general. For example, you will find that the cost of living has increased, or that there has been more and more traffic. But the most significant effect of this is the fact that the local culture ends up being diluted. This simply means that all the culture and traditions of Nashville are slowly dying. This is because of the blend of other hybrid cultures such that the culture here is not even defined anymore. This has annoyed the locals a lot, and if you are moving here because you want to experience the Nashville culture, then you will be disappointed. If you were to ask anyone else, they would tell you that there are a lot of job opportunities here. Nashville is a pretty busy town, and you would expect that. But what they won't tell you is that you will struggle before you get that job that you so much desire. There are simply a lot of people who are moving here, and most likely, there are those that have similar skills to yours. Others are even more qualified, and you will have to face off with them when applying for that job. 
You may think that because Google Fiber is now in Nashville, you can apply for a job remotely, but you're wrong. Even remote jobs in Nashville are quite hard to come across. You will have to submit your CV a couple of times before you get that call to go for an interview. And even after you go for that interview, you will have to outsmart a couple more people. So if you're not ready to spend a lot of your first days sending CVs all the time and waiting for that call, then you should definitely not move to Nashville. It is not for the weak of heart, and it will definitely take you a long time before you can get that job security. Tornadoes are a serious issue here in Nashville. They are especially crazier during spring, with some very strong winds blowing everywhere. Sometimes, you may even be chilling in your house watching some Netflix when you hear strong winds. When you look outside, you can even find that the tornado is right outside your house. There have been reports of tornadoes occurring as much as four times in two months, which is about two tornadoes per month. Sometimes, these tornadoes will cause some serious damage to the entire area, such as the one that occurred on March 2nd to 3rd, 2020. It was so severe that people in Nashville are still recovering from it, and it happened two years ago. So, if you think that this will give you a good scare, then this is definitely not the place for you to be. Most people will want to move to Nashville because they want their kids to grow up in a better place. But please, do not take your child to the public schools in Nashville. You will regret ever taking them there. The schools are as crappy as they can be. Your kid will probably be bullied a couple of times, and there is nothing that the teachers or the principal will do about it. The teachers themselves will teach as if they do not feel like it. After all, they are getting very little pay. So why struggle to do something for which you are getting very poor pay? It is not pleasant to take your child to a public school in Nashville. They all suck. You might even end up regretting why you ever took your child to the public school here and wish that you could have taken them to another place. If you want your child to have the best education, then you should consider taking them to a private school. But then again, these ones are pretty expensive to afford. So, instead of going through all that, it is better if you don't move to Nashville with the mentality that they will have a better education here. Nashville is not as great as people make it out to be. Yes, there are some of the good parts of living in Nashville, but the bad far outweighs the good, and you're better off not moving to Nashville. You may move here with the thought that you will get a better lifestyle, but it is far worse than that. So, if you were thinking of moving to Nashville, you had better look for a better place to go. Or better yet, stay where you are, because you're already used to it. Feel free to let us know what you think of Nashville. If you like this video and want to get more information about other towns, watch these two videos right here. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.